Welcome to HRAFIC. Here we will discuss about part 2 of HTML, chapter 2, class 10 computer science. We have already discussed the beginning part where we have discussed about uh, web developers, then front end developer, back end developer, different type of text editor, etc. Here we will discuss about tag, element, attribute, and how to create a simple page in HTML. Let's begin. First, we'll learn the building block of HTML. In an HTML document, these are the building block, tag, attribute, and elements. Tag, it is surrounded by angular brackets, greater than and less than, and each tag have special meaning to the HTML document. Attribute, we write inside the tag, and it increase the capability of tag. It describe the tag, it make the tag more advanced. Element, everything that we write between starting tag to end tag is known as element. Means a pair of tag which is a start and end call as element. Here is an example. Here we have a tag, that tag name is P. P align left. Here align is the attribute and left is the value hello world it is content and closing p it is close or end tag here from starting p till end p everything together knows known as element we get mainly two type of tag container and empty container tag contain both on and off tag for example, here you can see B start and hello after that B close. It is an example of container tag. Contain, container tag will always have closed tag. Empty tag, it does not have closed tag. Uh, empty tag contain only on tag. There is no off tag or no end tag. There are many tag which are empty in HTML, but uh, number of empty tag is less than container. For example, HR, BR, IMZ, etc. And there are many more we will learn later on. Nesting of tag. In C programming, you have learned about nested loop. When we write a loop inside a loop, it is called as nested. Here in HTML, sometimes we write a tag inside another pair of tag. That is called nesting of tag. Here we have to remember the tag that begin at first have to close at last we should not overlap the tag we should always keep in mind the tag should be nested properly for example i am giving an example let me open notepad so let this example here you can see head tag here head is opening and inside the head we have title tag so we cannot close head here before closing the title if we close it here then what happened the tag will overlap and we will not get the perfect output we will get some output but the output may, may be uh, mess up or it will be wrong so to give uh, to get perfect output we should that thing the tag which started first like head here starting first Inside the head, we started title tag. So title will close. After that, only head will close. And here you will see HTML. It started at beginning and close it last. So that we have to keep in uh, notice. Next, attribute. Attribute make the tag more advanced or attribute describe the tag. And we have to remember that uh, we always write the attribute on the starting tag or on tag. We don't write the attribute in end tag. Always we have to write in beginning tag, or on tag, start tag, whatever you say. There only we write. If our uh, tag have multiple attributes, sometimes it may have multiple. Like suppose I want to change background color and text color of a page. Then we will use busy color and text, these two attributes. So there we will use multiple attribute let's go back to the html code here you will see body it is a tag and basic color 
plus text these two are attribute and yellow and red these are values when we add multiple attribute then we have to give one space and we can continue the next attribute like here if we want to add one more attribute we'll just put a space and we'll write the name of the attribute let it be left margin so this way we can do it next HTML element I have already told everything that we write from on tag to end tag start tag to end tag together known as element an element is a collection of start tag and inside the start tag we may have attributes content and end tag there are four things in an element start tag inside the start tag attribute and tag and content so this is known as element basic structure in an HTML document we get mainly two parts head and body head contained the information about this document for example it can have page title version of the HTML document the author name language that is written uh, like uh, in which language we have written the web page it can be English Hindi or any other and some other information like uh, JavaScript CSS etc body this is the part where we actual write uh, write the actual part of the web page which is displayed on the browser window here is a sample tag you can see first line is doc type HTML here this line defined that the document is written on HTML5 then bracket HTML bracket close this tag defined the starting of the HTML document if you see properly then you will see whatever tag I am writing inside the document this all are written inside HTML means first I am starting HTML and at the end I am closing the HTML so HTML tag mark the beginning of the HTML document and slash HTML tag marks the end of the HTML document head part head part contain the information about the document title it give name to the document body tag it's contain the information about the do it contain the actual information or actual data of the web page which we want to display on the browser so these are the main tags that we use in each HTML document we have to follow some rules while we are writing an HTML document this uh, some are here container tag should be always closed properly already I have spoke about in nested tags when we start a tag if it is container we also have to close it similar way in C programming when we start a bracket we must close it and tag name should not contain spaces there should not be any space between brackets and tag must be nested properly so this rule you have to be follow then only you will get the perfect or you will get the correct output which you want let's create our first web page so we will go to notepad I have already opened I'm going to create one new page totally so I'm taking new document first we'll write the head uh, first line of the document like uh, this will be doc type doc type HTML this is I'm doing by using notepad you can also use other editor like sublime VS code or any other which one you like so first doc type HTML after that I will write HTML this is known as root element root means topmost element of the document after HTML the next tag will be head inside the head we will write title and in title we will write the name of the page so name of the page and we will close title 
and I think you already know that HTML is case sensitive, not a case sensitive language. So we can mix up with capital and small, still it will work. But I will suggest you to write everything in small because when we'll go in professional place for creating web page, there you will see most of the developer writing the codes in small letters. So better to write in small. Head close. After closing head, we will start body. Then we will write the actual part of the document. Suppose I am writing here, this is my first web page. Then we will close h1. We will learn about h1 in next class. Now we will not discuss much about h1. We are for structure of the document. Now body will be closed and html close so done you will see here we have two parts head part and body part and on the browser we can see only the body part head part will be only to give information about the document it's mainly required by search engine so now we'll save we'll go to file menu and click on save if you are saving for the first time you can use save or save as any one option if you are saving for the second time but with a different name then you will choose save as but if you want to just save the document then just save so i am selecting save here we will give the name i am giving the name is practice dot html so my document is saved i have saved in desktop so i will move to desktop here is my desktop and my page name was practice so this is my page let's see the output so this is my output you can see at the top where the tab name appears there whatever I have written inside the title tag that is the uh, displayed name of the page and on browser window this is my first web page that part we can see so this is this is a very simple web page that just now we have created by using notepad and also you have to remember while saving the document while you save after the name you must write dot html if you don't write this part then you will not get the output so you have to remember it now let use attribute suppose I want the page in dark mode so what I will do I will change the background color bg color equal black and also we will change the text color so text equal let it be yellow and we will save the files. file this time we will click on file and save and we will go back to browser as I am my page is already opened here so just I will reload the page now you can see the page background color is black and the text is yellow so this is done by using notepad now let us see how we can do it by using VS code for this uh, for that first you have to install it in your computer I already installed so I am opening VS code visual studio code so the UI will be that way. I have already opened one file. Let me close it. We'll go to file, new text file. And after that, we'll see one option is here, select a language. We will search HTML and select it. Now we'll write the first line bracket, exclamatory sign. Now you will see automatically it is suggesting me the code. So I will type from there. Just I will press the tab key then automatically it will appear on the document. Done. Now my tag is HTML. Break it close. 
then we will write head inside the head tag we will write title title my page and title close now we will close head after that we will start body then we will write whatever we want to write it here write welcome to the world of html then html then we will close h1 after that we will close body and you will see when i pressing the slash sign automatically the uh, closing tag, tag is suggesting so i don't have to close it again uh, html is already closed now we'll save the document file here save as option is there we'll select the location location is uh, desktop and we'll give the name let the name be web page dot html done now we'll go to here desktop folder we'll search it or web page web page dot html this is my web page so we'll open and this is my output so in vs code you will require very less time because uh, you will get auto type commands but uh, most of you will get notepad only in school to practice so better to practice in notepad in next video we will learn about formatting tag in html we are getting mainly two kind of formatting tag logical and physical also we will learn some basic css commands so till then stay tuned thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye Thank you.